Hello, today I'd like to discuss a major problem with ID. In the insect world, there are many examples of intelligent design, such as web spinners, which have 150 spinnerets that spin a watertight home for them anywhere. These homes can keep them from being detected by predators as long as they do not move. Not even smell can reach the outside. These are so tight that they have to bite a hole in them just to get drinks of water from dew, from dew and water drops. And surely one could look at the ants colony and say that has to be designed. How could creatures like that have a, such a beautiful society? Ant so uh, it is even said that ant societies with their complex division of labor, communication between individuals, ability to solve complex problems, and the apparent contrast with human so societies have been long-standing subject of curiosity and are a rich area of scientific research. If you want to learn more, I will put a link over at the sidebar. And the gall maker, I mean, wow, in short, what you can see in the link, but I'll tell you pretty much right here, they are genetic engineers. And I mean, amazingly enough, they found out how to uh, en uh, genetically engineer things millions of years before we could. That is something. But before I give any ideas, any more ammo, that's right, you'll have to do your ho the homework for yourself. I will start with a little scenario. I imagine you are 10 years old. Someone grabs you, they pour an acidic su substance down your throat, effectively destroying your entire digestive system. For the rest of your short life, you can never eat anything. anything. You have to rely on the fat that you have stored up from eating the days before. If you can imagine that, you'll be able to imagine the mayfly's life. It spends its the whole of its life as a larvae. And then, during the last minuscule moments of its life, it finally becomes an adult. It grows its, or it's able to use its wings for the first time. And after it does that, it maybe gets a half an hour to a day to live. Its, its mouth is now a vestigial part of its body. It does nothing more. Its digestive tract is filled with air. And all it thinks about doing is mating before it dies, which... After a while, it becomes nothing more than a fish food. Well, nothing more than flapping fish food in the in the water. But to sum it up, my argument is simple: What kind of intelligent designer, all knowing, all powerful, would create something that could only live for a day in its adult form? Imagine back how you would feel if you were only ten years old and you knew that you could only survive for one day and that you could not eat or anything, so you would starve to death. A very excruciating death, I might say. And, I will also say that every one piece of intelligent design, such as the eye, I can point out most likely ten things that are unintelligently designed, such as the mayfly and the digestive tract of the rabbit. So, thank you for watching, and, well, peace.